Okay, so here's the tutorial for Thought Distraction. Now, first off, I'll just run through the deck setup, and I'll just show you the cards, and as you can see, the spectator will agree that these are genuinely mixed, there's nothing orderly about this setup. But in actuality, if you, if you look carefully, this is why you don't want to display the cards too long, but if you look carefully, they're actually set up similar to Cy Stebbins with the values every third card, every third value. So, you know, ace to four to seven to ten, just adding three for each value all through the deck. Now, the suits you'll notice, they're all mixed up. We, it, the suits does, don't matter, but there is an important pattern with the suits. And what that is, is you choose... Um, two, like one of each, a black and red suit that you're going to use as the, uh, to represent the first card in each pair of cards. So in other words, what I've done is I've chosen hearts and spades to represent the first of each card for the first of each pair in the deck. So you notice I have a heart first and then the second pair I start with a spade, the third pair I start with a heart, the fourth pair, I start with a spade. So it just alternates between hearts and hearts and spades, hearts and spades for the first card of each pair. And then the opposite for clubs and diamonds, I've just alternated the second card of each pair be between diamonds or clubs, however I want it. So it just looks more mixed. And there's a reasoning for having that uh, club, diamond, heart, spade pattern. And I'll get to that in a moment. So that's the setup. So again, just like Cy Stebbins with every, uh, you know, you can just start with uh, an ace, add three to make four, add another three to make seven, and again, concentrate on how the suits are set up, like I mentioned to you earlier, and then seven, then ten, and then ten is with three, plus three is thirteen, so that's king, king being thirteen, and then after king, another three is, is is three because you start again at ace after king so ace two three and all the way through all the way jacks being eleven queens being twelve okay so i hope you got that okay now once you have it set up the the cards can be cut and the setup just works out perfect so it doesn't matter how many times they they cut the cards the top card and bottom card will be uh, three values apart. Eight, so you can see five plus three equals eight. So they'll, no matter how you cut it, the bottom card and the top card will be three values apart from each other. So they can separate, cut the cards as many times as they like. And then they can, again, you should mention to, to deal a minimum of a dozen cards per pile, because it just won't be that interesting, obviously. So there's, you get them to deal two piles evenly and they can deal as many cards as they like so let's say they deal this many cards we'll keep it short for this tutorial and and then what you do is you pick up the first pile that they dealt now the reason why you're gonna do this you're gonna what you're doing is you're you're gonna mention to the spectator that you're gonna count how many cards are in the pile so that they can do a riffle shuffle and you know how many cards to deal off to make two even piles again now this is your excuse to look at the first card they dealt down, which you're actually going to be looking for the suit. In this case, it's a diamond. So you know, in this case, that your diamond club setup will actually be the first card to represent the pairs throughout the setup. Because the way they've cut it, the diamonds and clubs are the first cards in each pair. So it's important that you know the first card they dealt. So just briefly glimpse that before you do the count. And then you know what the first card is, either the, club, the clubs and diamonds or the hearts and spades. And then you go on to do the count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now you know 12 cards. Now what this does is this sets up the riffle shuffle for the what is known as the Gilbert principle because you've reversed the order of one of the piles, which is what you want so that once one pile is reversed when the spectator riffle shuffles, no matter how sloppy the riffle shuffle when they go to count the, what was it, 13 cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
11, okay, it's 12 cards. Okay, so we leave it at 12. So when you do that, and it's important that you deal the cards into one pile again at the number that you've counted, 12, just like that. So now the cards are arranged in a precise way so that no matter what pile is given to you, you can use your pile to um, decipher exactly what values are in the other pile. It's really quite amazing. I love the Gilbert principle for that. So anyways, the spectator chooses any pile, and let's say you have this one. Now you play along like, you know, you explain how you're going to ask them to write down all their values on a piece of paper and to add them all up, total, total them up, and you're going to do the same thing. But in actuality, instead of writing your values down, you're going to be deciphering what cards they have and writing their cards down and adding those totals up. So, to do this, now you know that diamond clubs in this case are the first of the pairs. So when you look at the first card, the two for instance here, we see it's a spade. So what that means is the uh, diamond club pair that went with this card is obviously not here with it. It's in the other pile and it's, it was the first card. So what that means is you're going to have to subtract three from two. So you go two, down to ace, down to king, down to queen. So queen is the queen value, is all you need to know, is what card they have. So you're going to write down queen. And um, just out of curiosity, Yeah, it could be, so yeah, the thing is, sorry, I just had to check something, but uh, yeah, but you don't know what the suit is for sure, but it has to be a queen, so it could be, it could be either a queen of clubs or a queen of diamonds. I just thought for a moment I'd be able to decipher what the suit was, but that's not a possibility. So anyways, yeah, so you can um, write down the value, queen for that card, and then for the next card, we see this is actually the first of the two pairs being a club. So we add 3 to 5, so that tells us 8, so we'd write 8 down. So let's do that. And this jack is a diamond, again, the diamond club being the first card of the pair. We know to add 8 for the next card, or add 3, sorry, for the next card. So 11, 12, king, and that would be ace, so we write ace down. And next we have five, that's a heart, which means this was the second suit. So we have to subtract three from five, so we get two. And then we move on to the jack of spades, that was the second suit, the spade and heart. So we subtract three from jack, which gives us, uh, what was it, uh, not, or eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, sorry. So eight, and then three, the club being the first card, we have to add three to that, so we get six, and we subtract three from that, we get ace, or one, or we can write, write it as ace, actually, would be better, and then ten, being a club first, we add three to that, so we get king for thirteen, and ten, this spade was second, so we subtract three from that, so we write that as seven, Four clubs first, so we add three, that's seven. And then the three of spades, we subtract the three, which brings us to a king. And lastly, we have the nine of hearts, which we subtract a three from, which gives us six. So those are our values, and then we total those up. And then we ask the spectator to check them over for us and compare them with our cards to make sure that they're correct. And of course, they're going to look at our cards and see completely different cards from what we've written and a completely different total. They go to compare their cards and they will then see that what's written down matches up with all of the cards. So let's just, we'll just quickly run over this. So there's a king, there's a six, there's a queen, there it is, queen, and there's an eight, there's an ace, two, an eight, a six, another ace, 
a king, seven, and a seven. And there you have it. So that should blow them away. So uh, I hope you liked that, and I hope that was clear enough for you, and thank you for watching.